I am going to create a SQL database, SQLite 3 database, using Python. Begin file, and new window, and it fills up the screen, and we already have one, so let me show you that one. I import SQLite 3 into my system as LT. That means I will refer to SQLite 3 as LT. It's easier to key it in. I'm going to import sys. Next, I'm going to take that LT, which is SQLite 3, and I'm going to connect something called the stiffens.db, which I will create and assign this to con variable. So con establishes a connection between, is the establisher of the connection between the, or is the variable that represents the connection between students.db, which is now connected to lt equal to 3. So I refer to all of that, students.db now, through con. What do you want to do with con? Well, I'm going to grab con and call the cursor function because I'm going to be dealing with a whole set of new records. And I'm going to assign all of that to cor. So cor refers to the set of records in the database that is connected to by SQL like 3. Cursor, variable cursor. Cursor, this is what I want you to do. I want you to execute a function. What function? The, the, I want you to execute a set of commands. What set of commands? The SQL set of commands called create a table. What's the name of the table? Engineering, ENG. What fields are in there? Open print, mark, that's a field name. It's going to be of type integer, and name, which is going to be text data. And then I close the prints, I close the quotes, and the prints again. Okay, very good. What's the next thing I do? Next thing I do is I say, cursor, execute another SQL command. What command? Insert into the engineering table the following values. 90 and Kim. Okay. Close friends, close double quotes, close friends. Cursor, execute another SQL command. Insert into engineering the values. 80, that's his grade, and the name, Peck. Cursor, execute another command. Insert into engineering the following values. 70 and the lead. All right. It will do it. The next thing it will do jump down two lines, and I make sure I back in then, so this is not lined up with the other guys. I take the con variable, and I close the file database associated with it. That's what I do. All right. That should now work. Let's make sure that we don't have that file already in my in my directory. For students.db, there it is. That would screw up everything. Students.db. Let's delete that now. Gone. All right. Now, let's run our program. I click on Run, Run Module. And bingo, look what happened. We say nothing happened. Well, that's it. That's the secret to this. Nothing happened. That was visible. There were no errors generated. That means it created that database. So if I now look back into this directory, look what I see, students.db, and he's got 2K worth of data in there. It's a database file. This thing has now been created. Okie dokie. What do we do now? Now we have to read that data. Oh, that would be good. Okay, let's read the data. To do that, we would once again go to File, New Window, and key in these commands. This is the, I call this the openreadstudents.py file. Now, what I did here again was the following. I imported SQLite 3 as LT to make it easier to key this in all the time, and import this. I connect. I take LT, and I connect to the students.db, which is already now in existence, and I assign that to the variable con. What do you want to do with con? I want to execute con's cursor method, which which is what I need to do because I'm going to be working with a set of records. I'm going to assign that to CUR. CUR is now ref referring to the set of records in the student database file, which is connected to by SQLite 3. Okay. CUR, do the following. Execute the following SQL command. Select star from ENG, from the ENG table. Select everything, all the records. Okay. It's going to fetch all the records in the CUR, the set of records of the cursor. It's going to fetch all and assign it to the variable rows. That's good. Now what's going to happen? For x in rows, print x. So it's going to fetch it all and all the set of records and assigns it back to rows. Now it's going to now step through each one of the rows and print them out one at a time. And then it's going to close the connection. That's what it's going to do. Let's see if it works. Run. Run the module. Oh, there they are, the parade of hits. Let's move this up so you can see the parade of hits very easily. And almost there. Oh, almost there. It's not completely there. There we go. Come up. There we go. Over. Move up. And voila. 90 to Kim. 80 to Beck. 70 to Lee. What do you know? It created the file, and then it inserted these records. Well, it created the file, inserted the records into the file, 
and then the second program read the records out and print out of the file and printed them onto the screen. Wow. Well, I want to thank you so much for listening. This is George Bull. Saying bye-bye.